The exciting bit is what we've done with blockchain. Yeah. So we've got a blockchain aspect of it, haven't we now? Yeah. So what is that? So if you're familiar with the game, you'll be wondering what this is right here. And this is our new item manager. So this is the hub for the NFT functionality of Along With The Gods. Okay. And that's that's not in the build that's live right now, but that's coming tomorrow. When? Tomorrow. So, yeah. so make sure you download it and get familiar with the game before it launches tomorrow. So I could play it today, yeah. get some boosters as a new player, and then tomorrow I can start making and yeah. earning NFT. Yeah. So here you can see that you can transform heroes and runes into NFTs. So you need your hero to be at six stars max level ancient god or six star runes at plus 15 level. Okay. You've got quite a lot there. I'm, I'm yeah. guessing we're, we're being cheeky on the dev build yeah. so that we know that yeah, we can make Yeah, the devs let me have a bit of a sandbox with the game. So. Okay. But it's not impossible to get runes in characters. Yeah. We can get them as a normal player fairly quickly. Yep. yep. If you grind raids for a bit, you should have even more runes than I have here. So. I hear there's also going to be some new player events and some blockchain events to, to boost players' ability as well. Yeah, we'll get into that a bit later, but yeah, we'll, we definitely will be helping our players get to grips with the game and giving them some special rewards for starting the game. Okay, so I've now got my hero or my rune, and I yep. want to turn it into an NFT. What, what do I do? So basically, you go to the item manager here, as you can see, and you select the item you want to turn into an NFT. So let's say this rune here, it shows your details. You will need healing ceiling scrolls, which you can buy from the shop. You will need one ceiling scroll for each item you transform. So once we've selected the NFT we want, seal item, seal item manager, make a travel one. Yep. And that will take you to Playdap's item manager site. And here you'll need to log in with a crypto wallet. We recommend Portis. And if you don't have a Portis wallet already, it's pretty easy to sign up for one. Just use your email. And then once you've got a wallet, it lets you log in and you can see here. And the item manager, if I don't have a wallet, yeah. will guide me on creating one? Yeah, it will take you to a prompt where you can create one automatically. Okay, so. I don't need to worry about yeah. finding this. Yeah. Once I've picked it up in the game, I can make the wallet and everything I need. Yeah. Okay. And as you can see here, we've done the sealing process and it's been added to our NFT assets in our item manager. So these are all now things that I could trade with other players. Yep. And these are now the unique bit, the extra bit of where it has more value. Yep. So basically you own and control all these and you can do what you want with them in the item manager. So the dev can never take that away? No, it's all yours and it's stored and recorded on blockchain. Okay. So let's have a look at what we can do. So here you can see we have a rune in our item manager. We can convert it to a game item or trade it on play. So once you buy an NFT, it will be taken to your assets. And then to turn it into a game item, you simply click this, convert to game item. And this is how you send items back to the game to use. Okay, good to go. So when you convert a game item, it will be sent to your inbox here. And as you can see, your sealed character or sealed rune has arrived. And this is where you can collect it. And you need a sealing scroll to unlock the item. Just click yes. And that's it. There you have your item from the marketplace from your item manager into the game.